Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Finds TV. I'm Angeli Walker. May you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Monday, May 2nd, 2022. I hope you enjoyed your amazing weekend. Now, let's take a relaxing brain break to start off this amazing week. Hi, and for today's brain break and SEL technique, we will be representing conflict resolution. Hey, isn't that my pencil? No, this is mine. No, it isn't. My pencil is blue, just like that one, and I lost it. I can't believe you would just steal it and lie to me. Well, I can't believe that you would just accuse me of stealing your pencil. But that's the exact same pencil that I lost last week. Well, this is mine. In this situation, Sonia accuses Angeli of stealing her pencil. Angeli gets defensive and defends herself by saying it's their pencil. They keep going back and forth in argument and it goes nowhere. Sometimes when you want to resolve conflict, approach it with a positive and calm attitude so it doesn't turn into argument. Now let's continue. Hey, um, is that by chance my pencil? I lost one that looks just like it yesterday. Oh no, I bought this pencil yesterday. Are you sure? Yeah, I promise. Hey, is this your pencil? I saw you drop it yesterday. Oh, thank you. It is mine. Oh, I'm sorry for accusing you for stealing my pencil. I shouldn't have done that. That was not fair. It's okay. The second time around, Sonia approaches Anjali with a calm attitude so Anjali doesn't get defensive and turns it into an argument. When you try to resolve a conflict, remember not to get defensive, talk loudly, or accuse anyone. Instead, approach the problem with a positive, calm mindset and attitude. So relax with us next time for our next Brain Break and LCL Technique. Now, let's go to Word of the Day to learn more amazing words. Hey Alex, what did you think about the math lesson? Oh, I was absolutely bum-fuzzled. Same, I was so confused. I couldn't even understand the words that were coming out of Miss Johnson's mouth. Exactly. So, do you want to try study for the test tomorrow? Yeah, sure. I don't want to be bum-fuzzled for the test. See you tomorrow on Word of the Day. Now, let's go to Scott for today's sports highlights, a segment where I'm not bum-fuzzled. Thanks, Angelie. Sports fans, welcome back to Sports Equipment Origins. Today we are discussing the origin of a horse-like stand that you might recognize from gymnastics. It is called a pommel horse and got this name because it was the first invented to help soldiers train how to get on and off of a horse while preparing for an action-packed battle. Today, this is one of the most important pieces that gymnasts use in their flip-tastic routines. It was originally made out of a metal frame and a wooden body with a leather cover. Some of them have plastic handles too. It is pretty fascinating to see how they use this tool to make their bodies do super cool tricks. These tricks need supervision though, kids. Now let's go to Sonia to see what's cooking. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch sure tastes good. It is Kochi Chicken Tenders, Potato Wedges, Orange Juice, Barbecue Sauce, and your choice of milk. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. But bon appetit! Let's go! Back to Angeli. Thank you, Sonia. That sounds delish. Scholars, FSA testing is today and tomorrow. The 7th and 8th graders have their ELA FSA. Make sure to use your test-taking strategies. I wish you good luck! Patriots, the hero store is open. Get there by 7.15 a.m. to avoid the lines. Now, let's see what the weather is going to be like today with Aiden. I hope it's not cloudy. Thank you, Angeli. Hey Patriots, today looks like we are going to expect rainy skies with a temperature of 84 degrees Fahrenheit. In other weather news, a foul smell has covered a Colombian mountain. The citizens of the area blamed it on a polluted river located near the city, Bogota. In this case, it's the Balhawk, a river near most Kira that's causing the issue. Officials say that it won't, that it won't affect health conditions, but they can't be so sure. 
The cloud is like pieces of white fluff or organic matter and pollutants that get whipped up by the turbulence in the river. I'm glad this hasn't happened to us. Now let's go Chanel and Destiny for a hot topic. Thank you, Aiden. Hey, Patriots. Welcome to Hot, hot topic. topic. I'm Destiny. And I'm Chanel. And here's what's trending this week. Red Bull is being investigated for a failed plane swap. Two cousins were 12,000 feet in the air and attempted to switch planes. One person was successful, while the other person's plane spun uncontrollably. But don't worry. They made it out with, without any scratches. Calling all 7th grade Patriots. Today is our day to shine. Today and tomorrow is our ELA FSA. All you need to know is do your best and don't give up. You got it, Patriots. Hey Chanel, what's your favorite kind of chocolate? Definitely Hershey's cookies and cream. That's a really good flavor, but today's National Truffle Day. Those are tasty too. Hey Destiny, if you were the richest person in the world, what would you buy? I actually don't know. Well, you never guess what Elon Musk bought. Twitter. Crazy, right? I bet he'll buy TikTok next. That's it for this week, Patriots. Now let's go to Valencia for the birthdays. Thank you, Destiny and Chanel. Today's birthday boys and girls are Imari Corbin, Jaleel Danzi, Angelisa Gobin, Brianna Knight, and Rohan Thomas. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Angelique. Thank you, Valencia, and I wish you all a happy birthday, Patriots. Scholars, here are your past expectations. They represent, present yourself positively, act kind towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. You all got the correct answer to yesterday's trivia question, which was, when Walt Disney was a child, which character did he play in his school function? The correct answer is Peter Pan. Now, teachers and scholars, here is today's trivia question. How many weeks are in a year? Teachers, please send your answers to pinesatrenaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a marvelous Monday. And don't forget, this year we're all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day.